The global marketplace is very complex, far too complex for any one person to process on their own. So it is natural to put ideas, people and data into boxes that we can understand. Marketers will market, engineers will engineer, and so on, even more specialized than that. Splitting people up into divisions in this way can be an extremely good thing. It allows us to specialize and encourages accountability, but it can go horribly wrong. In her book, The Silo Effect, anthropologist Gillian Tett tells the story of the downfall of Sony. In the late 90s, this was a company at the height of its power, a global behemoth that dominated the personal electronic space with an eclectic mix of products. But in a very short space of time, they released three different MP3 Walkmen. These products would ultimately go on to compete and cannibalize one another. And each one came from a different silo or division within the company. This was their turning point, which saw them go from being the world's market leader to a bit of an also ran that they are today. Contrast this with Apple, who launched the iPod at a similar time. A single, unified device and ecosystem built through what Steve Jobs called deep collaboration across all different parts of the company, which would of course go on eventually to win a dominating market share across the world. The biggest cost of silos is the way that it diminishes the company's ability to apply its collective intelligence. Every organization has a great deal of diversity of thought, but it is trapped within silos across the organization. This is why we at Symmetra see boundary spanning as an essential inclusion skill, because it's this ability to create fluid boundaries and flows of information between silos, which allows teams and organizations to tap into diversity of thinking. Organizations that can do this effectively can tap into huge market opportunities. The Harvard Kennedy School, in doing research on law firms, found that when different practice groups collaborate to provide an integrated service, this is far, far more valuable than each practice group providing a discrete service to clients. This is because the work and product that they ultimately produce is much more complex and therefore more innovative and therefore more valuable to the customer. In the end, companies that are successful at boundary spanning will use a range of different strategies to allow for this free flow of diversity of thinking. Things such as hackathons and collaborative problem solving forums, networking events and opportunities to build relationships, rotating secondments which allow people to move between different functions within the business. All of these create that fluidity of boundaries and that flow of information which are so crucial to breaking down silo boundaries. But this isn't just important at the company level. There is a huge personal benefit to people who can become boundary spanners. The research shows that people with open, diverse networks are more likely to generate innovative ideas for the company, they are more successful as entrepreneurs, and they are much more likely to receive promotions, more remuneration, and receive industry recognition. Symmetra's inclusion assessments have found that great inclusive leaders are also great boundary spanners. But there's a lot of variance in the skill. We see that some leaders are great at it, some are in the middle, and some have a lot of development need. This is further complicated by the fact that a strong inclusive leader is not only a good boundary spanner themselves, but they empower their team to be great boundary spanners too. Research by I4CP has found that high-performing organizations have leaders who are eight times more likely to encourage people in their teams to build effective networks, and they're five and a half times more likely to have incentives that encourage collaboration within teams. If your organization is not thinking about diversity of thought at the whole of enterprise level, then you are missing a truly valuable source of intellectual capital. If you would like to rethink and redefine what inclusion means in your company so that it incorporates boundary spanning behaviors, visit us at symmetra.com.au.